All right, we are outside today, looking at a new shed, and there's door lock, but I don't have the keys. I'm gonna use this to get in. Step back. We have the Sears Craftsman AIM 139-53415SR. This is one I got brand new from eBay. The white ones and just a 15 watt bulb in it. Um, this is a brand new shed. This just got it put up uh, last Friday actually. And the door just got in, put in this past Wednesday. Uh, unfortunately I wasn't here when this door got installed so I didn't do any of this and I didn't even see the guy that put it in. That's kind of unfortunate. Here's the door. Wayne Dalton, unfortunately. Model 9100. And uh, yeah, you can see what I did there. Five volts. They tell you to use the door bracket they give you. When I want to use this bracket, yeah, that doesn't exactly work out very well because right here is just foam. The bracket just rips right out. So this does have the square row on it. Um, it doesn't flex really at all with this door, so I'm not worried about it. Uh, for wall button, I hooked up the original wall control. And the wire just goes back to the opener. I do have sensors there, but as you see, I didn't even run wires yet because these sensors don't even work on this opener. Uh, I tried it, and the receiving eye just never lights up, no matter how close they are. So, and for power, it's not plugged into the house. Yes, I know people, some of you are going to complain out there that I have a running off extension cord. But I have solar power here. If I wanted to follow car... Yeah, fire code, it has to be plugged directly into this inverter, and there's no way a freaking power port's going to reach all the way over here. So, it's staying like that. And then all this crap over here, it shows me how good the batteries are charged and stuff, so it's still charging now. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, run this down. <laughs> dark for a few seconds. There we go. Um, there is a little fan on this thing to keep the thing cool so you may hear that while making this video. You open this up a little bit. One stop. Uh, for the header bracket I have it all the way up there because if I put it down you'd see where it was before but it just had just a stub of an arm and this straight piece hung down way too far. So I just moved it up and I gave a better angle on the opener. I don't know how you can see that, but there it is. Uh, the reason the opener sounds loud is because uh, there are no plaster walls in here, so each individual um, little section here in the wall actually echoes the sound, so it makes the opener sound much louder than it actually is. I th if I'm correct, if I had one, the 3280 would probably sound like the chain drive in the garage now, so I'm not really sure how much I could do for quiet. The, I did take off the uh, door locks here, Let's see where I put them, and just two of these things, just bolt one on each side, I took them off. Um, So, and, yeah. Uh, maybe if someone can help me with a door bracket here, because, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, yeah, you can. Uh, I tried bolting it uh, here. Um, I tightened it with a ratchet, and after a couple cycles, the thing started to get really loose, and it actually, one of the bolts actually ripped out of the door. So, 
Uh, for right now, that works. Every once in a while I do have to tighten them because they do come just a little bit loose. But it works. Um, now for the door being balanced, I have to open it up halfway. Well, I can, I can make it stay, but sometimes I can make it stay, but otherwise you let go and you can the rest of the way. So spring's just a little bit too tight, but it seems to be all right. I was going to hook up my multifunction chamberlain panel, but I didn't have enough wire for that, so... And here's all the openers that I got. Every time I brought everything out here. I don't have a keypad out here yet, because we have to finish painting the trim wood outside. Here's controls and stuff. I actually was testing this thing, and these force controls can be all the way turned down. It works just fine. And it will still get the door up and down. power and it's charging off of the 100 watt panel outside. Let's go ahead and uh, uh, yeah we can run this back down. Yeah I have to watch the battery so I don't run it too much because it will start beeping. testing it. Maybe not. Let me just put that back then. I used to be able to do that. Maybe it's binding a little bit. So yeah. Uh, let me open this up so there's light. door sections are not the best. I mean, light does come in there when the door is fully closed, so... Not my favorite door, but if I could attach a regular door bracket to it, it'd be better. But that's what I had to do. Uh, I don't know if you noticed this yet or not, but it is low headroom. The six inch track right here. Try to get a good angle on that. There's a spring tag. i tell you for a Six six door. It's supposed to have fifteen turns on the spring. Just quite a good bit. So, not quite sure how to adjust it. The spring is maybe just a little bit too tight, or maybe that's just something that has to work its way in. Um. So anyway, I don't know how many more times it's going to do that. Um. Let's go ahead and open this back up. I'm surprised this thing has to start beeping at me yet, as much as I've run it already. Of course the panel has sunlight on it, so that probably helps a lot. I mean, midday when the sun is shining on the panel, the battery batteries recharge almost within like two minutes, so it's not that bad. Now I don't know if I could actually leave this thing on all night. I'm gonna try it tonight and see what happens. So anyway, uh, that's what's been going on here. I'm not sure if I said this shed or not, but this is a 12 by 16 shed with an 8 by 6 6 door. Uh, next opener I think I want to put it in is that screwdriver. Now, bear in mind this is only an 800 watt inverter, so when I put that up there will not be a light bulb in it. 
and I have to wear sensors as well. So, and you probably saw this already, but yeah, the deal with the angle iron is, um, I ran out of some of this stuff, so I had to use the uh, piece they give you, but it's it's sturdy. It's not going anywhere. I can't even I can't even move it that much. It's a lot more sturdy than the one in the garage. So, um, as far as that goes, I'm not worried about that. So, anyway, I guess we'll uh, run this back down, and that'll be it. Not too horribly dark in here with the light on. Uh, anyway, yeah, you can see some of the light comes in at the top of the door, but that's because the springs are a bit overwhelmed. So if I push it down more, it kind of stops. And it springs back up. Some of the hinges in the spring do squeak on this, but I'm not that worried about it. This door just has to last me a couple years, and then I'll put a new one in, maybe. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you think.